Well, I guess a simple answer would be uh, literally TikTok. And uh, we've talked about this, uh, right? How he's harnessed the power of social media, especially uh, TikTok. And there are a lot of users of TikTok here in the Philippines to rehabilitate his image and to get the image, uh, the message across that he is the right man uh, to succeed uh, Rodrigo Duterte uh, for uh, the presidency. And this is a real phenomenon. It's probably the biggest reason why, if he does cross the line first, he will win. But, uh, Shri, let's talk about uh, what it means for markets, also for business, if indeed it is uh, a Marcos uh, Jr. Uh, victory here. For the stock market, if you go back the last five, maybe six uh, presidential elections here in the Philippines, the stock market usually does pretty nicely. In some cases, double-digit gains in the six months after an election. So if that trend continues, uh, we should be pretty okay. Investors should be pretty okay if they have money in the Philippine stock market, at least for uh, in that uh, six-month window. Further out from that, though, and we talked about this, the key question in this election is, is Junior going to be like Senior? Is it going to be like father, like son? And if so, there are risks there. We talked about uh, the outside risk and the, probably the biggest one, that he could end up changing the Constitution. Below that, there's also the risk, especially for business, that he could indulge in appropriation. Remember, the business model of his father had been uh, with uh, favored tycoons or businessmen or conglomerates if they wanted a, a license or monopoly uh, for certain trade or, or, or business, etc., they'd have to talk to Marcos, and Marcos would want equity. After his fall from grace and he, after he fell from power, these tycoons retained uh, Marcos's uh, equity. So uh, I think there, there's a lot of worry that perhaps uh, a junior, Marcos Jr., could be out for a bit of revenge to take back what he personally and the family believes belongs to him. And that's something that's been flagged by uh, groups like Control Risk, the political risk consultancy, and something that we continue to watch. And the term for it is uh, legacy uh, risk. And it, uh, it, it could impact a lot of uh, very famous tycoons here. Shri? Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.